Alright guys, we have uh, broke camp, headed to the same spot that we saw those elk yesterday. I'm gonna try and make a uh, plan to hunt, hike around this morning, and hopefully spot that same group of elk and some more bigger bulls, but uh, then set up the, the wood burning stove tent out closer over here somewhere, so stay tuned, hopefully we can get on some big old bulls. Advantage of the wind right now too, you know. Yeah. Yup. Kind of creates a bowl right there. There's one sitting right there. I'm pretty sure it's a cow too. I don't think there'd be a lone cow. So there's either more cows with it or more cows than a bull. It ain't that same group from earlier. They went up in the hills. I think there's more than one. The crows are all around it. The crows are surrounding the elk. My God! Where are you going? There's like 15 crows within 15 feet of the elk, so they follow the elk. So if we see a bunch of crows somewhere, we should 
pay attention. Yeah. That is the end of the video for today. Ended up seeing 21, 22 elk. Only one uh, bull ended up being a five point frame with a busted up main beam. So it was only three or maybe four on the on his right right side? Yeah, his right, yeah, right side. side. So Jack's leaving tomorrow and then our dad's coming up tomorrow morning. He's gonna be leaving town about five to get out here. So. Uh, we're gonna cook up some brats, cook up some food, hit the hit the hay, get out, hit it early tomorrow morning. Hopefully, get on some more elk. We've we're definitely in a much better area than we were yesterday because we didn't see any elk yesterday. And between today and yesterday, we've seen almost 30 elk. So we're in them. We just have to find that good quality mature bull. So stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, stay wild. Thank you.